Hey guys, I refuse to close all of my tabs when I'm gaming and when I'm playing and I've switched to Opera GX and it has run so much more smoother because it is better customized for it. It has so many features for gamers. Look at this, a release calendar. Here's Star Wars Dark Forces is coming out. It'll show you some demos that you can play, the games that are currently free right now, deals aggregator on big name games, but here is why you should use it. Check this out. Yeah, there's a CPU limiter, there's the RAM limiter. If you're gonna have all of these things open, you can make sure that it's not impacting your video gaming. And it also has integrated Discord, integrated Twitter. Boom! Integrated chat GPT. Like Bam! OJ likes asking chat GPT weird yeah, questions. Yeah, like you could ask it best recipe for salmon in your dishwasher. I just added chat GPT now. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard is you it say. <laughs> Please do not do cook salmon in your dishwasher. Instead, Acid. download Opera GX, the browser for gamers, and it supports directly our channel. It's completely free to mm -hmm. you. Download using our link down below, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> Yes, you'll fit right in. WB. Suicide Squad. Kill the Justice League. This has to be a joke. You're joking with us. Season 1 for Suicide Squad has just released with the new joke of a character, Joker, more like Jokler, because he looks terrible, and they have absolutely screwed up. This is the worst DLC launch or season launch of any live service game I know of. Yeah, look at mine. You see this? This is how I'm playing. That's pretty cool. It's like comic book mode. You right? get to play cell by cell. <laughs> That's a feature, Joe. You just don't get it. Have you seen me? This is how I'm playing, guys. <laughs> it's like literally and then, and then How'd you die? Is it bolt? Because I can't see shit. Put the frame per second on, Joe. Get this. After eight years of development, this is what they have for you. There are no new story missions. No new mission types. No new enemies. You have to grind for four to eight hours over the same three fucking missions that you have already been playing in the end game over and over. They reset your level so that everybody starts at zero and you have to level all of your characters who are going to go to the final mission to get Joker to level 35. Mission locked. All players in the squad need to be at episode rank 35 not gonna happen chief what fucking rank are we i'm done i'm seven <laughs> you're not rank seven joe you're rank <laughs> zero you're rank zero so you have to grind for hours and hours and hours to even get the joker all right, how do we level? Half a level. Yep, now what? We gotta do two missions for each level times 35. How many missions is that? 70. Shut up, chat. 500. Only 69 to go, chat. Or, or you can you use the time savers function and buy joker for ten dollars <laughs> but wait why would there be a joker but you said wait a minute wait a minute you said the joker was free one thousand ten dollars why is the joker being sold for ten dollars uh, all the marketing material, yeah, you'll play Joker. Joker completely free. Why is there Joker? Fuck! First, grind a new pointless grind to get the character. 
Well, they failed to mention that they would have you would have to grind and grind to even get close to unlocking him. And I was resting. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Look at this, guys! I have one. What is that? One fucking sliver, one fucking pixel, one point to get to three. Yeah. You son of a bitch. They couldn't even rank us to fucking three. I guess just do another bug out plus two. I'd be there in an hour. I've hit peaks of 12. <laughs> 12. You've hit peaks of 12 frames per second. <laughs> I'm at 15 right now. <laughs> Wow, Joe, that's. I'm not sure how you're supposed to play at 12 frames per second, but Joe's doing it. They just can't, and all the marketing, they're like, you're going to get to play with Joker and this and that. Well, it turns out that Joker is the end game. You get the character after you go all through shit that they rehashed. Joe, I swear to God, is that the motherfucking artillery gun? Um... There are no new cutscenes. There is one comic cutscene to set it up. What the fuck? <laughs> he got a robot leg. He blew up his arm. What? He got out? Who drew this? I could draw it. Did an intern do this for them? This is... Uh, I expect that from motherfucking Redfall! Not Rocksteady! Creators, this was another opportunity for us to really engage with our characters, extend the narrative through the player's choices with a very cinematic eye. And then at the end, when you beat Brainiac, who, by the way... <laughs> We were right! Brainiac, the boss battle that you have to do to unlock Joker is the same recycled fucking boss from the main game! Fuck this. I'm skipping it all. I'm not paying you $10. It is not worth Let's it. Let's see what it looks like when we skip it all. You. Let's say his evil shall not escape my sight. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, he made a tank construct whose mechanics work exactly the same way. Green Lantern this time instead of the Flash. And I'm not talking Green Lantern Brainiac with new Brainiac enemies and mechanics. No, I'm talking this guy literally spawns fucking helicopters and miniguns. The exact same mechanics from the first fucking boss fight. The most laziest shit ever. Have you never seen shooting pustules? Wow, that's a brand new mechanic, guys. Whoa, oh no. It's Green Lantern missiles. Is that the same motherfucking mines from the Green Lantern battle, Joe? So you're reusing the same, the exact the exact same assets. It's the same helicopters and the same minigun. What the fuck have you been doing for the past four, six, seven, eight years? And this is the content that you have for people. Hey guys, look, there's presents on the ground. That's new. It's now covered in crazy reimagining of Joker's world and his mind. Buildings are turned into big birthday presents. They're covered in wrapping paper. There's toy soldiers scattered all over the place. There's parade balloons in the sky. 
We even have uh, some casino elements, there's poker chips, cards everywhere. They're invulnerable. I don't even get to see what's in the Batman present. And the new Joker is absolutely mid. He works exactly the same way because he fires guns. The only thing that's different is his traversal with the umbrella. whoop de fucking do I can't believe this, guys. I, and then once you unlock him, you are expected to play the same fucking three missions over and over again. We're gonna be giving you a deep look at all the exciting new content that you have coming to the game very, very shortly. Wait a minute. Do you have to fucking pay currency to play the missions that unlock Joker? So do you have to grind to earn the right to play the missions that grind to unlock the Joker? There's no new mission types, no new bosses, no new story content, no new cutscenes that you go along and learn more. They barely even interact with the Joker. Creators. This was another opportunity for us to really engage with our characters, extend the narrative through the player's choices with a very cinematic eye. He has the fewest lines of interaction with the team as if they fucking stuffed it in towards the end. As if all the actors made their lines and then this guy came in and did two or three and then they did two or three, barely says shit. And in fact, in the cutscene, it is the most disappointing thing ever when he interacts with the current team. You would, you would think that they would give Harley and Joker a lot of time and, and they would figure there'd be some interesting juicy bits, but it's literally Harley saying one line, I'm not into him, and then she makes a joke, and that's it. It's this. Now you've just made it weird. <sighs> How? Hell no. Been there, done that, got the scars, did some healing. I'm not into that type anymore. Maladaptive narcissist? Comedians. Come on, dead shot. Ah, uh, Sharko, you want to have a go this time? Uh, my hands are too large. We sure about this story? They don't even talk to each other. <laughs> oh, this brings back memories. The entire fucking bout of new content and cutscenes can be wrapped up in like six to eight minutes. I'll fucking play it all for you here at the end. So you don't even have to bother with this shit. And the fucking battle pass is worse. 50 R, 50 BP per mission? We, wait a minute, the battle pass, 50 even on these big ones! 50 BP? And, and it's a, it's a thousand! It's a thousand for a single level! The fucking battle pass, each level in the battle pass is a thousand points to level. God, how many fucking levels are in the battle pass? Oh my God. Oh my God, it's still going. Oh, oh my God. No. Uh, it's still recolors. It's uh, this one's pink, Joe. They got the pink. Oh, we went from blue to purple. That's what I'm gonna try to get. And this is it. Black and red is your final. That's your final. Black and red. And it can't even figure out how to load the Joker assets. Even the fucking players who defended the game to the death are like. I can't defend this shit. This battle pass is trash. It is the grindiest thing I've seen because one mission is 50 points. Man, I, it's, cause I'm who like, could defend this? Yeah, and, and you're like, literally, like we are probably two of the, the biggest defenders of this game out of like anybody on, on YouTube. Like, yes. So it's not like we're these people that hated the original, like the, no. the base game. We're like, oh, I, I just want more. Like, I was kind of done with it. I don't think but, anybody yeah. publicly defended this game like I did. That's where I'm at. No. <laughs> Jake, we got to uh, mastery. We, we went up 9 out of 35 ranks there. 9 out of 35, baby. You love to see it. Ooh, you cannot put a price on what a time to be alive. Give me well, my dumb mission rewards. <laughs> so, Adam, even if I was at 35, I couldn't even take you with me. Yeah. I couldn't even say, 
we i did it don't worry buddy they're not that that is how unwilling this company is to let you play the new character that they made they are yep. so unwilling that if you you could have three friends all of them let's go play joker one friend is it not at, at 30 the, screw that friend yep and ju and, I, and 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 just remember everybody that uh Jake, my brain is gone. I can't speak. Is that there are some presents on the ground yep. around the levels. That's no, the new content. No new enemies. These people are psychopaths. That is insane. Is there any... Was, was there any new afflictions? Was Poison, no, poison was nothing, in the original, wasn't it? Nothing new is happening. They, they tell you that new things are happening, but it's nothing that's like material new. It's... it's yeah. For us getting to develop this was really exciting, coming up with new challenges for the players to play and, and to really experience. Um... What the fuck is that? There's no fucking way. You have to do 20 missions for a fucking single level in the battle pass. How many fucking missions do you have to play to get one level in the pass? Yeah, yeah, there's a few little thing, bits and pieces here that gives you a little bit more, but it is a fucking grind on purpose so that you premium battle pass and you do and you spend more money. So fucking, no, if I want this, 20, 20 missions times seven, I have to play 140 missions so that I can have... Think you're hot shit on toast, but you're cold fat on bread. <laughs> 76 levels. So you take 20, 20 times 76. There's a lot of missions. <laughs> You'd definitely be spending a lot more than 100 hours in this game. It's true. Think of the <laughs> <So> value. <laughs> Think of the value. What's funny is we were talking about Diablo 4 being having one of the first first seasons in any live service game. because But, but Blizzard at least said that, hey, don't expect anything from Season 1. We didn't have enough time. Sorry. And it was shit. Season 1 for Diablo was absolute shit. This is worse. And we didn't even get an apology. No. So uh, we yeah. played like <laughs> we, I'm just we played like 300 of these missions during the main game over and over and over. Yeah, but what <laughs> and they expect us to do another 1,520, or or you can do Ten the dollars. premium battle pass skip. Premium battle pass. You can get your ticket now for ten dollars. So you want ten dollars for joker then you want another ten dollars for a premium battle pass from your sycophants that are like oh this is the fucking greatest shit i've ever fucking played the same three missions not modified at all with the same enemies and the same boss battles and not a single new piece of content except for presence on the ground and balloons and balloons <laughs> fuck you joe <laughs> you can't forget about the balloons <laughs> But it's just fucking color swashes on the fucking uh, skins that they put in here, which is Wayne Tech. And if you're a Captain Boomerang main, main like I did the whole game, fuck you! No Captain Boomerang skin with the new fucking tech. It's fucking hilarious! Oh, but there is a new Captain Boomerang skin if you fucking buy a separate premium currency skin where they do the stupid cardboard sweeted fucking, you know, heroes yet again doing the Justice League. You already did that with the $100 digital early edition. And they had Justice League skins. Now you're doing... Those Justice League skins again, only shittier! Is that $24 for fucking blue? Is that $24 for blue? Blue and yellow cardboard, $24! Well, to be fair, it's only 20 bucks because you get 2000 with the bonus, mm -hmm. it's 4 I swear to God, Joe, if you say to be fair one more time. <laughs> well... The, oh my god, wait a minute. You're selling the Superman. What the fuck? What the holy shit is that? What am I looking at? You want $10 for 
for this piece of fucking shit, this mockery of one of the greatest superheroes of all time, for this abomination, you're asking for $24. What is wrong with his face? Did you draw a mustache on Superman's face in this? But you you have to get the legendary edition to get the mustache. People are going to love this. This is going to be so good. Here he has an <laughs> open mouth and he's screaming. And then here he's got a mustache and he's a luchador. A complete lack of creativity, guys. Season one absolute joke and an insult to the very few tiny amount of players left playing it's a slap in the face to those people and even the most staunch defenders and i watch streams and i've watched videos of them like whoa oh man i am tired i am bored i am pissed off i i am going i'm done and and they fucked up they fucked up royally but then also on a narrative level, each of those characters is kind of the route into the Elseworld that you're kind of adventuring in uh, in that season. I think players are going to really enjoy getting to know them, rescuing them, and uh, learning to play with them in each season. It'll be a big appeal of each of these seasons for players. And in the trailer, you see... So it's so hilarious, because then you see Brainiac, and he's in a Superman form! <laughs> Carnival theme. A carnival? A ch so even the game says what I was thinking. I recognize this level with a cheap carnival theme. Are you joking with me? By the way, other games, Avengers, you just start with the new character and you start enjoying the new content in the season at the beginning with the new character. Here, they say, fuck you, no new shit, play the same shit to even unlock the main guy. Then when you unlock the main guy, fuck you again because all the content is the same. There's no new bosses, no new enemy types, no new mission types, nothing. They said six new strongholds, six n incursion types. Where are those? They're not here. I guess we have to wait for a mid-season update or season one part two to actually get other shit. Are you fucking stupid? This is the lowest effort. Get the fucking tutorial messages off my screen! They still haven't fixed that! Do you guys have tutorial messages? Luckily, I have yeah. I have suicide strike. I am in endgame. I am now in season one. And I am being asked to do a fucking suicide strike to learn how. And now Rocksteady is absolutely scummy as fuck. They have ruined their reputation. I never thought I'd be making an angry rant on how shitty Rocksteady has been and how straight up, straight up lying in their marketing that they've done. We're going to be giving you a deep look at all the exciting new content that you have coming to the game very, very shortly. Now I won't even load the skins. What the shit? What the fuck? Well, I'm getting 60 FPS in these uh, battle pads. <laughs> 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 it looks great. good. Battle pads look real good. good. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man, look. <laughs> it's not loading anything, is it, Joe? No, it's not. But it's getting... the, the thing is broken it's right 60. now. The servers can't even handle purchases. I, I bet you if you purchase something right now, it wouldn't even fucking register. Back to the game. I'm at 16. When you get to Mastery 31 on Killing Time, which I don't know why you would waste all that time, uh, the devs decided, hey, let's do a 95% damage reduction to the enemies, unless you're using a poison. 
poison mechanic, poison affliction, which makes all of your weapons from the previous game and all of the end game content that you've been farming and doing and building up and making this badass build fucking useless. No, no, no. Joe, did you already die? Yeah. I was lagging out. There's so much shit going on, I'm going super slow, and I was getting hit by random, random things. It appears the captain will be joining our ranks shortly. Those Bane weapons? Useless! The Craze Afflictions? Useless! 95% damage reduction, forcing you to play the game only one way. I thought this was about player choice and player creativity and build all these massive, all amazing builds. You fucked up. This is half the DPS. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah the weapon it gave you is half as good as the weapon you already have. Yeah. They, so they didn't finish loot. They didn't fix loot either then. Awesome. That's great. I love it. Two, two levels in, and I, I can't. And the developers knew this shit. They fucking knew this shit. So you're going to be putting in an honest day's work at the farm, honestly. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, great. Um, so... They know how grindy this shit is. They know how... Look, you just sit there and farm and farm. It's hilarious, too. Like, I came up with these creative ideas for new weapon types, like a polka dot man inspired guns that fucking melt people. And guess what? They did do polka dot. Hey, hey, they took a Joe suggestion. Here's what they did with it. And even to make you really um, spotty, like polka dot man. <laughs> Sounds like there's quite a selection to choose from there. Yeah, there is. Uh, well, polka dot confetti. So it's like, you know, the Call of Duty thing when your lasers, your, your bullets turn red, only this time if the fucking grenade hits something, confetti, polka dots come out. I, I am living in the worst timeline as a DC fan. You see Marvel doing all this crazy shit. You know, Marvel Rivals just announced fucking Marvel being treated amazing x-men 97 great fucking cartoon and as a dc fan you 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 you're eating scraps you're eating shit you're eating second harvest so alex explain to me emotes for 17 dollars oh but joe it's 50 percent off That's this is day one and it's 50 percent off so you're so it's not seventeen dollars, it's eight dollars and fifty cents. It was never seventeen dollars. If it starts off fifty percent off, that's it, that's gotta be illegal. What do you you don't you what? That's why car companies like here's your fucking what is this shitty car? Day Wu. <laughs> day Wu. Here's your Day, day Wu. Now, the Day Wu did normally cost $112,000, but it's a limited time deal. <laughs> we'll give it to you for $30,000. or well, No, no, $50,000. See how much it's marked down? So it's not expensive at all. In fact, it's a great deal. That, that has to be, that has to be illegal. It is a fucking waste of time. And Su Suicide Squad killed the Justice League has wasted so much of my fucking time. As a DC fan, we could have been playing Helldivers. We could have been reviewing other games. And instead, I was fucking saddled with playing this shit. So I'm going to fucking rant and I'm going to fucking vent as a fan of DC. This is the kind of shit. And now that they fucked up and made the Suicide Squad game, we may never see what I want to see. A good Suicide Squad game in the vein of a of a Batman, uh, you know, fucking old school rock steady game or a god or a fucking Superman game. This shit is never happening. Now we have to wait for I don't know Wonder Woman at Monolith Games and hope that WB doesn't come in and fucking battle pass it and fucking scan and fucking time savers the shit out of it. And I'm fucking scared.
Because I don't think so. So what? this is the lowest effort trash ever and what? So we have to kill uh, 12 more Brainiacs. Or wait, no. So there's <clears throat> how many Brain? Alex, how many Brainiacs were there? 13, 13 fucking Brainiacs. So we already killed one in the main game. And now we killed. So we killed the Flash one. And now we killed the fucking Green Lantern one. So there's fucking 11 Brainiacs left. We saw Superman Brainiac teased in there. So there's 10 Brainiacs left. So and, and guess what? I guarantee you're going to be fucking great. Grinding the same fucking three mission for 50 missions in a row over and over on each of those 10 remaining Brainiacs only to get a recycled boss battle. The next one, Wonder Woman. The next one, fucking, uh, uh, fucking Batman. The next one, fucking Aquaman. The next one, fucking, uh, oh, that would be actually new. Oh, well, if you have a hidden Aquaman because you're doing the Justice League, you forgot about Aquaman and Cyber Cyborg, why didn't you pull those boss battles up? Up! Show people that there is hope for the game that are still clinging on to it. I looked at the fucking stats for this, guys. It's literally, it's literally going down in our eyes. So when it first launched, here you go. 3,000 players. At one point, there was 65 players playing fucking suicide squad this multi-million dollar project 65 people as this update came it, it got up to peak 3,000 people then i checked it like a day ago 2,166 now 1,988 it is going down the day of release, it is going down, slight up and slight down, as people realize, wait, what? I have, I don't get Joker, the free character to fight Brainiac with. I have to grind and grind and grind or pay you $10? No, fuck all this. I'm not fucking doing this and stop playing the game. You fucked it up. The one to, to show everybody, no, we were saving everything for all this and literally put nothing in. <laughs> This is a dead game walking, and you fucking uh, promoting season twos and threes and fours. What a joke. What a joke. <sighs> well, that's the state of fucking DC and DC superhero games right now. Can't get a fucking break. I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show.